Good morning all. Welcome back to the class. Today in this class you will be learning more about verbs. This is my second video on verbs. For those who have missed verb 1, I will be giving the link in the description column. You can watch verb 1 later. Let's start the session. So in the last session I told you about present verb and its usage. We have learned that play, watch, read, write, sing and come. These are all present forms of the verbs. And present verbs are actually used to refer to basic facts, natural truths, regular doing works, hobbies and habits. And we have also learned the usage of past verb that is V2, played, watched, read, wrote, sang and came etc. So the usage, past actions with past indication of time. So past verbs only V2 are used to refer to past actions with definite past indications of time given in the sentences. For example, he went to Bombay yesterday. So what is Bombay here? Uh, sorry, what is yesterday here? Yesterday is a past indication. Yesterday, day before yesterday, last night, week, month, 1980, 1947 and 1950. These are all past indications of time. All right, let's move on. So in this session, let's try to learn a few more new patterns and try to understand the usage. Look at the following sentences. I'm playing cricket now. Geeta is singing songs. Look, they are coming. Listen, he's calling you. So you must have observed that these sentences are made with a subject plus am, is, are and ing form okay look at these you know phrases am playing is singing are coming and is calling so these are all verbal phrases in which you can notice the combination of be forms with ing form am is are plus ing form right We say, I am, he, she, it is, you, they, we, are. I am, he is, she is, it is, you are, they are and we are. We use this pattern to talk about actions happening at the time of speaking. In other words, actions happening now. Clear? All right. Now observe these sentences. I drink coffee, I am drinking coffee. So the first statement speaks about my habit of drinking coffee. When I say I drink coffee, I am actually referring to my habit of drinking coffee. But the second one is not about my habit or hobby. It's about what is happening exactly at the time of speaking this statement. Here are a few more examples. They are having breakfast. It's raining outside. So when I say they are having breakfast, they are having breakfast now. When I say it's raining outside, it's raining now. It's raining outside at this moment. So these statements also express what is happening now. And this pattern is also used to refer to temporary activities. For example, Mahesh is trying to learn C language. It means Mahesh is attending C classes and he is trying to learn it. So he is in the process of learning language C. One more example. Manoha is staying with us for a couple of days. So these two examples tell us that ing B forms plus ing am, is, or plus ing pattern can also be used to refer to temporary activities. So this pattern is also used to refer to changes which are taking place now. For example, making short films is becoming very popular these days. Another example, the demand for language teachers is increasing rapidly. If you observe in these two sentences, you have the similar pattern is plus ing. So we use this pattern to refer to the actions that are taking place now. So both the statements here, 
making short films and the demand for language teachers is increasing readily. Both the statements refer to the changes that are happening now. So remember that am, is, or plus ing form, this pattern is used to refer to actions happening at the time of speaking and also to refer to temporary activities and also for changes that are taking place now. Now look at these examples and try to correct them. The first one, the chairman of the meeting was delivering a wonderful lecture on the importance of educating women now. Here the clue word for you is now. Okay. So with the help of this, you can understand that the statement is referring to the action that is happening exactly at the time of speaking. Hence, it should be the chairman is delivering a wonderful lecture, not he was delivering. So the correct answer is, is delivering. The chairman of the meeting is delivering. Next one. Can't you see it was raining heavily? Then what is the clue here? In the second statement, the clue itself is, can't you see? This question refers to the current time. Hence, the correct answer is, it is raining heavily outside, not it was raining. Because when I say, can't you see, I'm actually referring to the current time. Okay, done. Let's now move on and learn one more pattern. Look at these sentences. I was playing cricket at this time yesterday. Ravi was watching TV when I went to his place. My mother was cooking while my sister was watching TV. Gautam was doing his homework when I called him. If you observe, all these four sentences speak about an action that remains uncompleted in the past. In other words, they speak about actions that were happening at a particular time in the past. We use was, were and ing form pattern to express actions happening in the past. We say I was, he, she, it was, you, they, we, were. So was or were plus ing form is the pattern that is used to refer to actions that were happening in the past. Okay, just you know before this pattern, we learnt about is, am, are plus ing form that is used to refer to the actions which are happening at the current time. And here we are actually referring to the actions that were happening in the past time. Okay, done. Look at these examples. I was watching TV at this time yesterday. So instead if I say I am watching, I am watching is the statement that refers to the current time. So when I say I am watching TV, I am watching it right now. If I say I was watching, if I replace am with was, so this becomes an action that was happening in the past. I'm not referring to the current time. I was watching TV at this time yesterday means that I was that I am referring to an action that was happening in the past. In the second example, I was watching TV when you called me. Now here we have got two clauses. So the first one is I was watching TV and the other part is when you called me. So here the clue is when you called me. When I say you called me, it's a past action. When you called me, I'm actually referring to a time when I received a call from you. So when you called me is a past time. So I must be doing something when you called me. And what I was doing when you called me, I was watching TV. So I was watching TV when you called me. And yesterday, I was watching TV while my sister was doing her homework. So she was doing her homework and it was happening in the past. And I was also doing one task and that task was I was watching TV. So here we have got two past, you know, actions that remained, you know, incomplete in the past. And these two actions remained uncompleted in the past. So to join two past actions that were happening together in the past, 
we use while so i was watching tv while my sister was doing her homework done so remember for the first statement as i told you the clue word is at this time yesterday and in the second statement the clue is when you call me and in the third statement the clue word is while my sister was doing her homework i was doing i was watching tv okay so whenever you have these kind of you know expressions in the given sentence you can understand that you were actually referring to an action that was happening in the past fine but you won't have you know uh, you won't have this kind of simple questions in competitive exams you will be given you know wrong sentences and you need to correct them but those sentences will be a little more complex let's not try to you know correct a few questions look at the first one a very innovative program called art of living is going on when i was there this statement can be divided into two parts so the first one is a very innovative program called art of living is going on and the second one is uh, when i was there so when i was there is the clue here i was was actually refers to past time so you are referring to past time means the statement that is given above should be an action that was happening in the past so it's not a very you know innovative program call out of living is going on it's not is going on it should be was going on so the correct answer is a very informative program called out of living was going on when i was there so here the clue is when i was there is the clue and now the second statement her parents were writing for her with extreme sorry waiting her parents were waiting for her with extreme alacrity when she reached home now here the expression she reached home okay her parents were waiting with alacrity and here the clue word for you is okay when she reach home is the clue okay so parents were waiting it was a past action it was happening in the past so it was actually an incomplete action in the past so it should be followed by another past action right so hence the correct answer must be when she reached home because we were referring to an action that was happening in the past her parents were waiting when when she reached home okay done thank you and please do like share and subscribe and please wait for the other videos on verbs